Oh, they finally made it back. Yeah. It's been one year exactly to the week, <laughs> one year ago that we tried to come here and we were in New Orleans and everything was shutting down. Yes, yes. New Orleans, take two. Rona got us. <laughs> well, not physically like yeah. us, but it, it, Rona shut everything down and we weren't able to come here. Yeah. And so we've been waiting for a, for a year to come back because we really wanted to see the World War II Museum. Yeah. And, um, direct ties because your grandfather served in World War II, mm -hmm. your uncle was killed in World, World War II, mm -hmm. uh, so direct ties to Leslie's family. And um, so um, as you're watching this, if you have someone who you know who served in World War II, family member, friend, or if you are a World War II vet, uh, leave us uh, some information in the comments below and let us know, you know, name, rank, uh, where they served. Um, if they were killed uh, during World War II, just whatever information you feel like sharing with us, but we'd love to see uh, how you are connected to, to World War II uh, as we go through and see the the uh, museum here. Yeah. Um, I heard it's just awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting because we've been to the World War I Museum. Yeah, in, in Kansas, Kansas City. City. So I'm interested in comparing, not that there's a race, <laughs> Not, uh, a, not a competition, a museum, <laughs> but that was a phenomenal. It museum, was really great, so. and I'm expecting great things from this one yeah. also. Everybody that we've known that have come here, have said that it's just awesome. Yeah. Uh, so we planned the whole day. Um, it was about an hour drive for us because we're not staying in New Orleans this no. time. We're staying up in Robert, Louisiana. So we had to cross the Pontchartrain, Lake Pontchartrain, mm -hmm. and go across the longest overwater bridge in the world. So they say. <laughs> <laughs> Which is about 24 miles of just driving across. And it looks like the ocean because either side, you can't see land no. on e either side. Just golf. So it's a long, long um, oh, bridge. <laughs> 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 but it was cool to it drive across. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, so here we go. World right. War II Museum. Let's go in.
about the uh, World War II Museum? It's very cool. As good as the World War I Museum? Don't kill me, Lenny. <laughs> but I'm going with the World War I Museum. Yeah, they're both really great and uh, both did a really good job. But uh, yeah, the World War II Museum was really great. Um, they did a really good job of of routing you through chronological yeah. order. Yes, they did. That I give them kudos. Of how the war went. So yeah. it gives you a better understanding of how it played out, military strategies, why commanders on the ground made the decisions that they made, yeah. and how the, the world, the, the war evolved. Yeah. Um, and, and why different countries got involved at the times that they got involved. Uh, so that was really cool. Yeah. Uh, they did a good job of for each one of those campaigns making you feel like you were in that era or yeah. in that that place yeah. uh, so they did a really good job of that they had little um little stations with little video clips everywhere yeah um and it, and it would have taken us forever had we sat there and watched yeah, all those and it was quite crowded today it was very crowded I was surprised which, Thursday. which made it a little more difficult to to film yeah and <laughs> So we were kind of forced into filming um, in a way that we normally don't do. Normally we will go in and we'll walk through and we'll stop periodically and we'll talk, talk about stuff. Yeah. We didn't get to do that. No. A, because there were so many people and B, because we were wearing a mask the whole time. Yeah. And they had they had staff everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. So you're not taking your mask off. No, they said if you don't wear it properly, you will be asked to leave. Yeah, so we really couldn't take the mask off and vlog. Which is unfortunate because most of the video now is, is B-roll, yeah. uh, other than I was talking at the, the beginning and the end. Um, but it's okay because this video is not going to get shared by YouTube anyway, yeah. because it shows depiction of war, war. Yeah. violence, weapons, yeah. all, Nazi symbols. All their <laughs> favorite things. They're not going to share this video, so but it's cool. But we wanted to share it with you, yeah. even though YouTube's not going to share it. And and normally. Um, what we would do to remedy that is if we had a bunch of b-roll we would include a couple more locations yeah uh to, to, to incorporate into a whole video but we're not going to do that again because if we incorporate other things into this video those things won't get shared because inclusive in this video are, are the world war ii stuff yeah. that youtube just don't like um so it was it was very cool it was nice to come back to new orleans yes um it didn't feel like a year went by, really. Yeah. Um, but it was worth the wait, and and I believe it was worth the price. How much did it cost to get in? Yeah, well, depending on which package you pick. So, we picked the museum pass with the 4D uh, theater experience. Which was very cool. Which really was cool. I'm glad we did do that one. And that was 25 a yeah. person. It would have been 18 without it, but well worth it. Yeah, so for $25 a person, and just to give you an idea, we were in there for three and a half hours. Yes. And I felt like we kind of blew rushed. through it. Yeah. Uh, I felt like we could have stayed there at least four to five hours. Easily. Because like we did with the World War One. Yeah, because we didn't get a chance to read everything. Yeah. I mean, we didn't get a hard chance to read anything. I mean, yeah. there's just so much stuff. They have actual, um, you know, stories of individual soldiers. They have you know, pieces of memorabilia, personal effects, yeah. letters that were written to families for people who were killed in action, yeah. um, letters that were written from, from service members back home, um, you know, different flags, and mm -hmm. just all kinds of stuff from from all of those different campaigns throughout the war. Um, yeah. So very cool. And um, for you, probably really cool because you get to see kind of what your uncle and your grandfather yes. got to see. Yes. And, and uh the information that John Bear has been able to give us showed, I could see it there. Where they were. Certain places, yeah. yeah where he uh, landed. Where he landed and seeing stuff with those people. So yeah, it kind of made it come together a little bit more. It gave you vision it a little bit better. Yeah, so definitely cool. I'm glad that it was kind of crowded because it tells me that people care yeah. about history. And uh, we saw some kids in there, so that's good. Get your kids yeah. out and to get them exposed to the history of of our country and it was our wars. It kind of funny, that one young kid, when he said, <laughs> yeah. we won that war, and it was so funny. And, and he's, 
I was like, yeah, his yeah. older sibling was like, yeah, and we won World War One too. Back to back, World <laughs> War champs. Yeah. That was so funny, but it was cool that he was interested. So. <laughs> yeah, it was cool, and it was yeah, it was cool to see a young person uh, excited so, yeah. to learn history because they get these things in books and in school, but when you see things in person. It's very cool. Yeah. And for us, we've gotten to see even more of this in person. We were stationed in Hawaii yes. for three years, so we got to see the USS Arizona. Arizona. This was way before we were YouTubers, yeah. so we didn't videotape any of it, but we got to see the, the Arizona. We got to go on to the, uh, the, the Missouri, Missouri, which is where uh, the Japanese surrendered uh, right there on the deck of the USS uh, Missouri. And um, I got to take a trip to Normandy. Yeah. I got to see Utah Beach. I got to see Normandy Beach. I got to see Gold Beach. Um, I got to see a bunch of those those areas, uh, St. Mary Glees, yeah. where the Airborne jumped in. And I actually got to see places that were pretty close to where your uncle was fighting. Yeah. Even though at the time I didn't we know didn't it. Know it at the time, uh, yeah. But looking back and some of those some of those still pictures that we have uh, from the past yeah. are really cool now, knowing now what I didn't know then. Yeah. So very cool. Again, like we said at the beginning of the video, if you have uh, someone that you know who served in World War II or if you have served in World War II, uh, please let us let us know. Leave us a comment and let us know a little bit about them. Name, rank, where they served, what campaign they fought in, all that good stuff. Whatever you know about them, we love to hear stuff like that because it's very interesting to us. And um, yeah, if you come to New Orleans, definitely go to the World War II Museum. Yes, definitely a must. Yeah, and like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. Uh, we appreciate you watching. Uh, if you want to learn more about how to help us help veterans on the road, everything you need to know is in the description down below. And we'll see you next time. Bye.